face. A little bit up. Yours truly, Ozzy Oz, your main man, Mr. Ripper. Mm -hmm. Media cartel is to show you anticipated and that you want to hear, that you want to see. But we haven't got the video to it. But we are on YouTube. So hit us up on YouTube. Media cartel mix show at all interims. YouTube, Gmail, uh, Facebook, all, all that good shit. We're going to jump on into it, you know, do an express version so we can get it in and get it out. You know what time it is. Why is my media tablet acting a fool today? Okay, thank you very much. Maybe because I didn't charge it. Uh, jumping right in. Mm -hmm. There is, what's the word I'm looking for? Rumors. Fuck it, let's just call it what it is. Rumors that Cardi B may be pregnant. I mean, they say she is. I didn't know it was. I thought, I thought she was. Yeah. So, well, I, I hadn't seen the, the last story saying that, indeed, that she is pregnant. Oh. So, until she's admitted it and or papers has came out, you know, that she's positive. Rumors. But, offset. Isn't that who she's dating, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. His alleged baby mama. I think the child is like, that's also a new baby, though. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that child's that old, but I think it was right before Cardi B. Right, exactly. Maybe like five months, maybe. I know they had a little couple words or something. Right. I mean, Cardi B ain't really get into it, but you know, yeah, she just said something like, yeah, that, I think that's who she was uh, on her little things. You want what with who? You know, my, you know, mm. I, I think that was a little sneak diss to her. The little chick looked Cardi B ish, mm -hmm. and when I say that, like. Puerto Rican, Dominican, exotic look, but not cute. You know, I, I don't think Cardi B's cute, but, you know, she's she's definitely a, a character in her own lane. But needless to say. I like them. Yeah, 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 I like I like a personality and all that, but it's I mean, I mean, far as like, yeah, I'm talking, I'm talking about. She I looks def, cute to you? I, I don't know if it's a personality. It might be her just over, overwhelmed with personality, personality, but if it was another bitch that looked like, I mean, we even act like I wouldn't even pay no attention, but yeah, it's, I, I just like her. I like her though. Yeah, she uh, like I say, she her music, eh? You know, and, and I'm not really a musical fan, but I'm a, I'm a definitely the whole, a, a whole point is that uh, mm -hmm. the baby the baby mama, uh, you know, she kind of gives you the same vibe, same feeling in a smaller form, but. Needless to say, neither here nor there. Oh, uh, them tattoos. The, uh, that's a turn off for me. The, uh, nah. I, neither here nor there. <laughs> the bitch asking for child support. And she was doing an interview with, uh, what's your boy that's not a DJ that calls himself a D academics? Okay. Is that his name? Yeah. Uh, she said, I, I'm, I'm seeking uh, 10000 a month. Damn. And he asked her, "What? Well, well, damn. Okay. Well, damn. The child is not that old. Why are you even seeking ten thousand a month?" Her response, "A dumbass." This is uh, the whole point of me telling this story, and it's just my opinion. Say a dumb response, Bruh, Y'all be careful what you stick your dick into. Fuck getting. It's bad enough you going you, you may get something, but, but then you, if you. But you gotta understand this too. It is. It is them, but a lot of times it's, it's them lawyers. You know, they, there's a lot of lawyers. They'll seek them out, and then they know that's a, that's a payday, good payday, payday for them. Right. So. Well, she she's seeking ten thousand a month, and her response when asked is because that's what Chris Brown baby mama was awarded. She said, "Well, maybe I should ask for twenty, and then they'll bump me down to the ten. What? My point is. Stupid is what stupid does. Y'all stop fucking these stupid ghetto ratchet ass thought ass, and, and that's that's what old boy was like. This you do realize this is child support, not thought support. You know, and you say, well, what, what you gonna do with all that money? Even if you were, I, I if you were crazy. giving it to it, she says she would get her an ass. Yeah. See. Yeah. So I mean, just the character, you know, uh, of the the people that you deal with. You know, yeah. you can. If you knew better, you'd do better. Or, or, or is that just one of them things where you say some shit to get attention? It kinda might like kind of like like all the legit doing that fuck Tupac type shit. So and that it that could be the case. But looking at the picture, 
Yeah, because she listening tatted, to she, listening she tatted to, up like a motherfucker. So yeah, that, li- listening to to the uh, nah, tattoo. I, I, I'm me and the tattoo. That's why I say tattoos are exotic. Mm-hmm. I don't. I definitely wouldn't. You know, want my woman to just go. You know, ballistic with the tattoos. Nah, that shit look but, manly. It, huh? Look manly. That's Not to I me, like I, but I, I I do like. You would know, you I put, do like. Would you put a bumper sticker on a on a Rolls Royce? And that's my whole point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and and once again, that's why I'm I'm. If you hear the determiner going, I think it's it's exotic, mm-hmm. and it gives you that type of look. But I don't want it for my house. I don't want it for my lady. But as far as oh, you are saying you would fuck fuck a bitch with, but yeah, you yeah, wouldn't yeah, make yeah. it your lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I don't. And and the tattoos is not a demographic of the person. I think tattoos are a expression of art. Let me get it. Let me get that out. Mm, but that's a thin line. Yeah, it's, it, everything's yeah. Mm, go ahead. But the whole point of me saying is, sometimes I see a chick that has tattoos and it gives her the exoticness. She may not even be cute, mm. but I go oh, okay, and it may be my mind just going okay. Well, shit, she like you know most people with tattoo a lot of tattoos they have a backstory which is too long to get into for this podcast. Oh, oh, okay. But the whole point is I'm going eh. But 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 okay, I see what you're saying. And some people tattoo. Can you look at that? You can say that, but most chick that you talking about, no, it's not no. No, no, they doesn't make it look exotic because they got the same damn ratchet tattoo that every other project same, bitch got. But, same titty tattoo, yeah, same, same ball book. print. Yeah, same. It's yeah. No, same stripper. Same stripper right. shit. It's, it's no different. Right. And and it's not professionally done. It's not like they went to Black Ink or somebody <laughs> that you know that's right. It's them bullshit outline. Right. Nigga did it in the house and it's ugly as fucking and it just fades and get old and shit. Oh, now those I definitely do not like. Now, now, but like you said, actually, let me see her again. I think she actually got some spin. Look like she do got some professional, uh, expensive tattoos. Actually, her do look actually do look expensive. It was a uh, where is it at? I, um, it was, uh, I think. But anyway, moving on. Yeah, hers off. Of, uh, hers. She got like the little leopard prints. I think. Hers. Uh, hers. Some of hers are professional. She got some. She got two two ratchet. When the one right here is the one the name right. that was a cheap one. She right. probably got that when she was younger or some shit. Mm-hmm. They haven't gotten it covered yet. Yeah. She'll get it covered as soon as she get the uh, the uh, 10000 a month. She probably got the Spencer ones when she was with Takeoff. Right. Exactly. But as we go, she you know, she trying to take off and get that money. Hey, as we've said already, you know, hoes coming up. Uh, your man DMX mm-hmm. has been sentenced to a year in prison. Now, you know, for tax evasion, uh, tax fraud, excuse me, not tax evasion, tax fraud. Not quite sure the difference. Fraud may be not putting all your money out there. Evasion is saying you ain't going to pay it. Either way it go, uh, a year. Both both, both of them time. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, he, uh, he got other issues. A lot of people going, he should be going to rehab, you know, more so than, you know, but that rehab of his addiction has still nothing to do with Uncle Sam saying they ain't get they got their oh, money. They, they, nah, they don't care yeah, about they that. don't give a fuck. Well, simple fact is they it, it's not something that happens overnight either. No, no, it's it's a it's a build up of but Because actually it's plenty of celebrities, especially black celebrities who are way behind in taxes, years behind, but as long as you paying something, something to clear up some of them years. Sometimes they'll they won't come at you but as long as you work out their payment plan with them and yeah, you pay, and pay up some of them years because it's like a lot of motherfuckers who like three or four years behind yeah, they pay something yeah. but when you so he's probably a lot of years behind or he just pretty much didn't try to even work with them right well them motherfuckers come knocking at you though you you, you might as well have a damn mob on you because they don't be bullshitting yeah that's crazy uh, yeah your uh your president or shall I say, I'm sorry, uh, Pre- President Trump. Bit Beyonce. <laughs> we go get into that. <laughs> now nah, he, he uh, see it was one of the. Let me. I ain't gonna even go there. Anyway, <laughs> he's proposing to pull the U.S. military funds to build that goddamn wall that he keeps talking about. So he's gonna cut into military funds so that we won't be safe 
but he's going to build a wall to make her safe. Why don't you take that funds from the damn fucked up parade he keep trying to do? Yeah, exactly. That's happening. It is happening. It's been approved. It has? Uh, he can't get tanks, though. Oh. So he's trying to do, like, Jam Kim Yun. Yeah. I forgot it's going to cost, like, it's almost, a, I think it was, I don't remember. It was high. But Might have been a billion. It was high. Mm. It was It was high. But they ain't gonna let them do the tanks over the. Ah, nah, nah. They don't. Like, Y'all ain't fucking up our city streets with this bitch. I don't know if Congress said no to the tanks. Yeah, but yeah, the whoever in Washington the street people. Yeah. yeah, they said no. Yeah, yeah they fuck your shit up. Yeah, that's what they said. They, they, yeah. they unless they, they unless he get the tanks with the little, uh, just the wheels, which is not a real tank. You know, got the 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 regular big armored wheels, not. Mm. The, uh, chain. I don't know, but Cong- yeah, Congress passed that he could do the parade, but uh, and spend the money on the parade. But uh, yeah, whoever the the road committee, yeah, they 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 said no tanks, no tanks. Yeah, they're not tanning the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, your boy, what is it, Takashi? Mm-hmm. Takashi, six nine, all over the goddamn place, getting threatened everywhere. Goddamn, go. Jay Prince was threatening him in uh when he tried to do a show in Houston. Went out to L.A. Uh, what's his name, Slim Four Hundred. Four hundred, you know, uh, you know, told him he have a pass out there. That's when, you know, he got into the little fight at the airport. Every place the man going, you know, he uh, he, he, they they on his butt. Allegations that he used to be, and excuse me for the affiliations, not to diss anybody, uh, and I, cause I, I'm not gang culture. I think he used to. He's a what now? A blood? He I, used to. I'm, yeah, I'm not, I don't yeah, really he, follow him. He's one of the red guys now. He used to be one of the blue guys, which I think is Crips, uh, way back in the day. They just trying to, you know, they saying the man flip-flopping all over the place. Recently did an interview on The Breakfast Club. Didn't check out the interview yet. Kind of behind on that one, ladies and gentlemen. But trying to give you the info, you can go go ahead and check out the interview. But he said on the interview that he this interview was going to be the most highest rated interview that he's had, you know, uh, that The Breakfast Club has had. No. Nah. I, I, I doubt if that's the case, nah, but it did it, get good it, ratings. It, but it ain't definitely ain't gonna be the highest. Birdman still got yeah, that. Yeah, Bird, Birdman. <laughs> Bird, Birdman still got yeah, that. Yeah, he's still fellow on, blood bloodman still got that one. But uh, yeah, he's still on the front page. But uh, yeah, he uh, he, he's still on the front page. He, yeah. he told uh, Charlemagne, which could or could not be true. I, I don't, you know, Charlemagne is not the god. He just goes by Charlemagne, the god. Uh, that. Prior to uh, him coming up here today, I had never heard of you. Who are you? Damn, man. He lives in New York. That was my whole point. Going back to all the bullshit. <laughs> Wait, when this interview was? Uh, interview about two weeks now. Oh, okay. It just aired last week. Oh, man. you know what? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it just aired last week. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but everybody, he, he can't sit still. So, oh, my whole point of saying all that. So he he talked apparently talked enough shit on the interview of how he can still go. I, I travel out the city and y'all y'all talking about pulling up. I gotta check in with y'all. Y'all pull up on me. So Slim Four Hundred bought his posse. I think they say he came about a hundred deep from L.A. They needed a hundred, huh? They needed that many. Oh, they came to New York. They came to New York. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pulled up and said, "Nigga, you you told us to pull up on you." We in we in Times Square. They posting IGs and and like, hey nigga, we here. You said pull up on you. Yeah, but well, you know he probably ain't there. Yeah, huh? He probably on the road to getting money. What well, doing my, the shows? My whole point is, bro. I mean, he do shows. <laughs> oh, that, know, oh, that's crazy. You know, the, the game has exposed them all. All like I say of him switching things, showing him being a nice bath mitzvah, clean cut boy up until like two years ago. You know, uh, at the equality. No, I don't even think that matters now. I mean, that's, the, the that's, whole point is, I think he's pretty much just, uh, he's not authentic. Let me just say that. I don't think that, that doesn't even matter in rap no more. Not for the younger generation. I mean. It, no, it doesn't matter. Not for because the, you, because the, you, if you look at it right now, what's the hottest song right now? The dude, uh, uh, B, B, C, J, uh, yeah. Ro- the Rover. The Rover, yeah. He doesn't even have a Rover. I mean, he, he said he doesn't have one. Right. I mean, but. They like that. I mean, well, what I'm saying, fuck, I'm not even saying. And it's shoot song, so it's like, I mean, what? Oh, okay. that's yeah, the first yeah, yeah. song with the first shoot. Song but Rover right now, hot as hell. Right. Jits love that right there. Uh, what is cat name? Uh, it's B J B. Ah, uh, don't don't worry about it. it yeah, it, we'll, we'll get to you. And a big big. Shout not that he's not a good artist. Yeah, I'm just bad just, with names. Yeah, just bad names. I'm bad with names. Yeah, just like the 
<laughs> I'm just getting the Takashi. All I, I always just called him six nine. But the point being, I'm not even talking about on the music scene. I'm saying how you putting your life in danger, fucking around with this gang culture, claiming shit that you're not. That's just like you know, nigga. You know, I ain't no hood ass nigga, but I know how to survive in the hood. But mm. I ain't just trying to come to your hood and and flex like motherfucker. I'm I'm the I'm the shit or I'm the king and none of y'all and I'm untouchable. That's not, you know, that's not, that's not how you do it. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, fuck, I mean, we ain't even talking about the rap shit. We talking about how you are uh, endangering your, your lifestyle going around with all this fuckery. Uh, speaking of, keep it moving on. YF in uh, Lucci. Lucci. Lucci! Um, he has, uh, he has, I guess, confirmed. He did an interview with, uh, what, what's your girl? Uh, Rachel Ratchet, uh, Ra- the, the girl from, uh. TMZ? TMZ. You know how she got her little podcast. Mm-hmm. Um. R- Raquel. Raquel. Uh, Rance. Raquel. Yeah, Rance. yeah Raquel yeah, yeah. Cool. I know it was something. Yeah, she cool. Uh, he, he, he confirmed that he is dating, uh, Lil Wayne's daughter. Yeah. Regine. And, uh, you know, he's talking about his, his, uh. Why he wouldn't make the record with Young Thug for the million dollars? Mm. Now I, I thought they was I thought they was they had a good uh, vibe. Why why won't he do track with a uh, uh, Young Thug? Mm, that I don't know. That, but that, yeah, that's that's a mystery that needs to be unveiled. We'll get back. But I was still I was I was surprised when I seen them together, seen them hugged up together. Who him and Thug? No. no. <laughs> Shit, it wouldn't be too far fetched. I'm talking about little Re- Regine. Yeah, 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 yeah. It made him look young. Made me realize how young he was. Well, he is young. Yeah, but I didn't think he was that. He just looked naive when, when, when he just looked, when he next to her. He looked. He really he looks looked, looks younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she, well, he he looks his age. I guess we we used to seeing him in the 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 light of his yeah. thuggish thuggish ratchetness and. And Not just I, that. He, yeah, he does have. Yeah, he, a, he has a grown, a grown, yeah, a grown yeah. persona. Then, right. So, yeah. probably being around her, just like you know, you know, even uh, you know, I, I can't speak for anybody else's household, but mm-hmm. I don't think thugs are always thugging. You know, when they're around their woman, they, you know, not they, thugging. I ain't know. I'm just saying. He, I'm he, just saying that. Yeah. I keep using the word far thug as, loosely. Oh, well, I'm just saying, far as his age group, far as he does, he's not. He's not. Rapping the same way as the young cats yeah. his age are rapping. Yeah, he is at rapping like an older, right? Older, check. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm saying. All right. Well, uh, what else we got going on? Uh, <coughs> going back to and I, I haven't seen this one too. I'm dying, dying to find it. But uh, uh, your boy uh, Gary Owens. Mm-hmm. He trolled the shit out of Six Nine from the uh, interview yeah. that he did on the uh, what is on, with on you the and, Breakfast Club. What is you and Six Nine, man? Huh? I yeah. said you and Six Nine. No, I'm mean, shit. He uh, he posted all in the damn news, and I can't tell you I don't listen to none of his shit. But that's me personally. But uh, that's how much he's getting. He's just getting his goddamn fifteen minutes of fame. Next month we ain't gonna know shit. You know he ain't he ain't gonna be shit. Uh oh, you know mm-hmm. I ain't gonna say he ain't gonna be shit. You know, <laughs> big ups to what he's doing. I'm just going. He ain't gonna be ha- having all this uh, airtime play because nobody ain't gonna be giving a fuck about him or gonna bend and got his bend and got his ass beat. What the hell going on? That's kind of um, I don't know. That's kind of how the new artists are these days because they, they, they this in and in and out. Mm-hmm. Speaking of in and out, but staying power, your man Snoop Dogg, number oh, yeah. one album. Yeah, staying power. He has the number one album in gospel. Staying power. Yes, sir. Talk about. I can uh, believe that. Talk about. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm just going g- going back to the fact of how that man has switched and still makes itself relevant without all the fuckery. That's how you. That's how you do it. That's really a uh, really. Uh, so basically, untapped gospel rap is an untapped, powerful money making market. Mm-hmm. So he, of course, he collabor- collaborated with a uh, a bunch of different uh, uh, artists. Uh, I can't remember 
all all the artists, but uh, you know everybody from uh, yes, gospel Marvin, gospel artists or Marvin Sapp to uh, uh, what's his ah oh, goodness, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm I'm having a brain fart right now. Uh, from Marvin Sapp to uh, what's the little young cat? Uh, goodness, Ty Tribute. That's what I was trying to think of. Ty Tribute, uh, Charlie. I mean, jeez, I'm just messed up. Um, Charlie Wilson, uh, Erica Campbell, oh, you know, just a bunch just, of you know Charlie Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, just just a whole host of people uh, <clears throat> to put the album together. It's a 32 track album, so we're giving you money's worth. And uh, once again, that's Stay in Power, and it's number is debuted number one. Snoop doing it again. Um. Well, we know about Toys R Us, right? We talked about it, right? I told you last week it was shutting down, right? Don't tell me, old boy had to. He, he got to get a job. Hold a giraffe. Uh, the founder died. What? Yeah, he died. Uh, uh, he died a few days after they announced it, that it was. Dang. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm the, he no longer owned it. He sold it or whatever. Right, sold right, right. But the fa- yeah, still. Yeah, he was no longer involved with the company because he was real old. But yeah, he died. That's crazy, ain't it? Mm. Damn. Yeah. Um. We beefing. Mixtape. You gonna pick that up? Okay. Wendy, they did a mixtape. I I heard the one track. I haven't heard the whole tape. <laughs> But Wendy was definitely going off on Nicky yeah. D. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? That fake grease or something? Uh, oh, the one part I heard out of that fuck me up was when they said the ice cream machine is always broke. Oh, yeah, and that's so true. <laughs> that is so true. Yeah, they going hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They going hard. Mm 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 We beefing. Will Smith started a YouTube page. I thought he already had one. Uh-uh. Oh, he was just doing the. He was just doing the Instagram and other stuff. Oh, okay, the little quotes and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Lil Wayne and Birdman. Uh, they was at they met up at Club Lib again, but this time they hung out in each other's section. This time, took pictures. Okay. Posted it. Birdman posted pictures. He said, "Me and my son hanging out." So that's the first time he said son. In well, a he while. always called him his son. No, I'm saying in a while oh, since okay. they had, you know since they've been in it, but my son. So I guess you know Sunday nights always popping in, yeah, in always, Miami, yeah. So they, 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 they. I guess they, they right now. I, 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 I hope so. Let me just say that. Uh, uh, they giving giving your girl Vivica Fox. They giving her a talk show. I, yeah, I, yeah, that's I, not gonna I, last I, long. I, I, you, thank you. Not not trying to hate on her, but I just don't see it. She gonna tear her ass just like she did yeah. with the. She had a good idea with the what was it the little uh, male stripper review that was supposed to be after what was the movie? She, she ain't did? doing that no more. Nah, she fucked around and went on Breakfast Club, be killing him. Went on Breakfast Club and said some shit because I think Charlemagne. I think let me leave my thoughts alone. Anyway, she <laughs> says it's Charlemagne asked her a question about so what if a bunch of the gay and lesbians came to your all male review? Uh. And her comment was un unni- unnicely to the L B G Y C F G A N community. I don't I'm not mm. quite sure. The yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know what you spell. But uh, <laughs> oh, shit, I don't even know what all of that uh, stands for. Yeah, and I ain't even hating on her. I just don't think she is a person that anybody wanna hear on T V. I don't think it's gonna go her, I don't think it's gonna go I'll be surprised. Right. I could be wrong. And they hate them, but I know that's bad luck to say something to somebody like all that shit. But I, I just don't see it. I, I think, and once again, she, she'll probably have good topics, but I think she's gonna do something to, what do you call it, to, to fuck up her own self. She's gonna shoot herself in the foot. And that's I what don't she think has, she. I'm, that's my. I, you saying she's gonna shoot? I'm saying I don't think she has good topics. So that's what I'm. That's my. Well, I'm, I'm that's where I'm going. You saying right. she's gonna fuck it up? Right. I'm saying she ain't gonna have good topics. I'm thinking. If they're trying to give her a show, I think they the, already got a team. Yeah, yeah yes, tell that to so the Amber Rose. That's what I'm saying. I think okay. it's gonna be like Amber Rose. Point shit. taken. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. gonna go that you way. Nobody point, really yeah. wants. Exactly. They might listen to you on internet, but nobody really wants the hour of this. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yep. You, you just made a good point with Amber Rose. Yeah, that's. I, what I I'm may saying. digress on that one. And not uh, hating on her, but it's yeah, just, ain't no hate. It's ain't just no what hate. it was. Just telling it like you know, um, telling our opinions. 
Uh, not. Nah, I'm a God fearer man. Right, right. I know you are. Amen. Um, and also I know we know not to test God. No sir. Uh, well, in Georgia in Gwinnett County. Okay. That uh, way. I forgot the girl's last name, but the first name was Cardi. Mm, I don't think she it. had any Bacardi, but that that started it out. Five bad uh, names. You, oh, you already heard about this. I, I know you're going to <laughs> continue <laughs> preach. <laughs> she, she was, I guess she was trying to teach her kids a lesson that uh, about God uh, being real. Right. And she tried to, she, I mean, not she tried, she did. She drove her, she took her hands off the wheel and drove her car straight into the light pole. To the light pole. And said, told God, God is real and he going to protect us. And she tore up her car. And yeah. our kids, they was in the back seat, they, so they was they all right. Were, they were but they, they told on her, and, and they took her crazy ass to jail. Yeah. God protected them, but he didn't protect her from the law. No. She so, uh, just, yeah. Yeah, her kids, so especially her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> so so the, the kids kind of dry snitched them. Mama crazy. No, nah, the daughter was like straight up like. Psh. Yeah. What, what the heck this woman doing? Yeah, it was, it was bad, like. I it was like, do you want to live with? No, we want to live with. No, <laughs> no. Drop us off at daddy's house. Exactly. Little road with her. Uh, yeah, that's that's craziness. I mean, I guess she was, you know, God feared and and definitely had faith. Love, you know. Whew. Yeah. All right. Um, your man LL is launching a classic hip hop station. I think that's well overdue and needed. Uh. They Sur- got a, they got a lot. A classic? No, mm-hmm. I'm talking about like his era and back. No, I'm talking about they got one in Atlanta. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I, well, I, I've been missing that when I when I go through. They got a. I, I know you can probably get it, get it like on XM Radio and stuff. No, nah, they got about, they got a state. I forgot what it is. You know, just like they have a all hip hop and R and B all. Yeah, it's all, all old. It's all old. So. I ain't seen that. I ain't, mm-hmm. I ain't seen to or heard it did that the one. I know Jacksonville got one that's classic hip hop and R and B, but it's pretty much you know R and B and play more. It's more R and B, and every now and then they'll throw in a raw bass or something like that, you know. But uh, hey, I mean, hey, let, let's let's get it get it going, make it happen. Uh, what else we got going on? We already talked about the uh, posting the uh, picture of Bird Man. Uh, your man Killer Mike. Said a uh, speech, you know how he does debates and speeches. He was debating against the NR, NRA. And they chopped him and up. And they chopped and screwed his ass. <laughs> yeah, they chopped and screwed And they dropped it when the kids were doing the little protests mm. uh, against the gun control here in Florida. And uh, so he went back and utterly, you know, you know, gave his definition of how it went and what was said and how they misconstrued what he was talking about, which is, that's the fucking media. So the NRA bit Beyonce. Let's go there. <laughs> Who the fuck bit Beyonce? Ain't nothing explain about Beyonce? it. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Ain't nobody. How, how, how does nobody know? I don't know. It's been, been rumored by different people, but nothing, nothing to talk about because everybody knows. Beyonce's business is everybody's business. Everybody knows. So there's no need to talk about it. But Beyonce's business is everybody's business, but you never know her business. You ever notice that? You barely you you saw the you saw the clippings of the elevator by somebody leaking it, just like them leaking about her biting in the face. But you only had assumptions of what the fuck went out until she spoke about it. All you know is, ooh, it was a big fight on the elevator. What the fuck was that? Yeah, of course. And then that shit was deaded. She bust her ass on stage years ago. That shit was deaded on YouTube. Less than two days. You don't see that motherfucker got some internet pull power for real. Oh, she got the beehive behind her. So yeah. Hey, well, I don't know what the fuck them hoes. I mean, look at Carrie Hilson. She said some sh- that shit about Beyonce. Look what happened to her career. Dead it. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> she got some pull. You got loyal fans. So who you think bit Beyonce, man? You can tell. I me. don't know, man. I, I'm just gonna keep that joke. You, you can tell me, man. I still don't even know who Becky with the good hair is. So I mean. <laughs> Ah. Uh, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez broke up again. That, that yeah, that yeah. 
it might be for good this time because he's always been he's already been spotted with new girls already. Yeah, he always had new girls. He just and she walking around. I think she's going back to Black Dick. Yeah, yeah, that's because because she was fucking with your boy the weekend. Right. I think she's going back. She I ain't saying she's going back to him, but I'm thinking she she going back black. Yeah, I, th- I won't be surprised if the next dude is black. Can't stay away from it. Uh. The girl gave her a kidney. She ain't too bad looking on either. Who? The girl that gave her the kidney when she was sick. Right. Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't. See she ain't her. too bad looking either. Yeah. Um, the officer that uh shot your boy uh out in Sterling. That's the one in uh I, I do believe Louisiana that was selling the CDs in front of the store. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he he will not be charged. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's some craziness right there. That's that's fuck craziness. That's that buffoonery. Mm-hmm. That's that bullshit. Uh, but my crazy for the before we get out mm-hmm. is a Florida woman. I, I don't know what we, we we going through down here. Damn it, trees, Lord, yeah, know you yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you, you you hit it right up on the thing. Now she marries a one hundred year old tree to save it from being cut down. My question is one of two things. Mm -hmm. Her marrying the tree, how is that still stopping them? Because from my understanding, the tree is a a, a disrupt. It's in a disruptive area, and it's it's old as fuck, and it could be liable. Oh yeah, that did happen. Uh, I don't know. There's some crazy law like near Miami or down down St. Fort, well, West Palm, wherever in that area, that tri area, right? Where it happened at. It's some crazy because that's she's not the first person ever do that. So no. it wasn't her first yeah, idea, but first, first. somebody else did do that. It was years ago. Somebody did do that mm-hmm. to save a tree, and it did turn bad for him because, like I said, it was an old tree, and something happened. I don't remember if a limb fell off That's or the tree took, fell, right? And it, I don't know if it killed a person or it fucked them up, but they was liable. They got sued, right? Mm. And they had to pay because the city was like, "Hey, you married it? You married it? That's your, your yeah, your, yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> yep, your husband. Now, my funny to go into that is, mm-hmm. uh, God damn, she married a 100-year-old tree. Mm-hmm. What she'll do for a client that month? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's sticking some old-ass wood up in that bitch. <laughs> Mossy. <laughs> Mossy. Listen, give me that Mossy dick. <laughs> I mean, that brings a whole new mm-hmm. meaning to goddamn dancing for the pole. The old pussy got cheese bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I had another joke. You fucked me up with that one, though. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, hit us up, Media Cartel, at Media Cartel, Big Show, gmail.com. Your comments, all those good things. Definitely hit us up on Facebook, like us, subscribe, and uh, all other social medias, Instagram. Uh, Got to get that Snapchat going so we can get some of the things. But in the meantime, between...